Hey girl, hey. On this episode of Little Angel Plans, we will talk about my origin in the Happy Planner community. So, a couple disclaimers before we start. My kids' room, in my kids' room, the virus fired alarm. <laughs> the fire alarm is the battery needs to be changed, so you gotta hit the beeping. I would do it myself, but I can't get it off the wall. So I've called my maintenance, and they're supposed to do it one day or another. Another disclaimer, there's like still this divide on my face that really bothers me. And so if you wonder like why I'd be like behind the camera, this is why. Also, I tend to like touch my face and my head a whole lot. Um, and do this, I don't know, I, I, I always gotta be moving. So, um, I just wanted to disclaim all of that. Now, let's get into it. So, I actually started Happy Planning in the year 2016. I started when I was working HVAC. I had just finished my HVAC schooling or so I was using it throughout my HVAC schooling so when I finished my HVAC schooling I got a job out immediately and it was really like my work was all over the place so I used to have you plan it to like keep me grounded keep my scheduling in order I I had two phones I had a work phone and a personal phone and I had calendars on both of those but I needed to see it on paper you know what I mean so that's how I started in 2016 and then in 2017 i started my business angel cake specialty pastries and the happy planner layout kind of worked really good for me i always at the in the beginning i always used the horizontal because i need lines you know, i would write like this if i don't have lines so vertical was not a thing for me and at that time i think they were only those two styles was horizontal and vertical. So I kept horizontal for a long, 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 long time. And then I branched out and got vertical because I wanted to do more designing uh, as far as like, you know, being more creative with stickers and things of that nature. I felt kind of enclosed or I just felt like I couldn't do as much on the horizontal layout. Uh, as far as stickers go because then it would take away from my functionality so i kept the horizontal in the mini and then i got a classic vertical so that worked really well for me i kept it like that and in 2017 i got my godmother and my god sister both to start planning we started brown round table planning and brown round table talk and we don't meet as often anymore maybe like once a month now but we still do the same thing it's just it's us as a family planning all together, planning times that we can spend together and just talking over some wine and some good stuff like that. And then as soon as, I, as soon as we started that, I thought about doing an Instagram, but I did not. I stayed back from it. And I started to notice that people were, were linking more. They were doing more group planning and things of that nature. Um, in 2000 and. 19 we're going to fast forward because i have been happy planning as a matter of fact um over the span from 2016 to now i have gotten at least 15 people into the happy planner community or into planning in some kind of way even if it's not as frequent as mine like i my best friend aces cousins sisters friends my dance team girls like i got all of them planners so like y'all i am a pillar in my happy planet community i don't know about the the whole of the happy planet community but in mine i am a pillar i am the path paver so i have to be like up on all of this stuff so and then my god sister told me that i should make a she was like you should do an instagram for just like your planner stuff because i didn't want to make it personal you know what i mean I, I just wanted to keep it separate so kept it separate i became a, a, i joined the happy planner community on instagram in 2019 this year when the happy planner 
said that they were looking for Happy Planet Girls. And my god sister was like, you should do it. And I'm like, well, I don't even have any followers. This is that. She's like, well, do it now. And then when they're doing it again, maybe you can be. So that's what I did. Um, the first group of Happy Planet Babes. Yeah, that's what that's what First group of Happy Planet Babes. At home with Quita. She's like my top, like my number one. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if I'm looking when I started looking into the Happy Planet community on social media, at home with Quita was my first per the first person that I followed. Um Yeah, everybody else is I mean Kill of a Plan. I really like Kill of a Plan. I mean, the Happy Planner community is just really welcoming. And the new planner babes that I follow, I live right by an Air, uh, uh, Air Force Base. So that's what you hear. Anyway, the new this year, 2019 or whatever, um, Happy Planner babes that I follow that I look to the most are LB Novelties and Bloggy Lease. Those are like top two for me here. And then last, the one before that top two is At Home Quita and Kill of a Plan, which At Home Quita and Kill of a Plan are both, have both branched off on their own journeys. At Home Quita sells, um, she sells so much stuff, uh, digital stuff. You know, she's just full planners now and they're just really like, they're really good. I'm actually looking into buying one but i won't talk about that much right now um and then kel of a plan she has like this whole sticker um line and she sent out a uh, kel of a plan boxes so it's just they got a lot going on and layla from lb novelties that started her own instagram i mean not instagram she's been having that she started her own um youtube recently and so y'all should go check that out go check at home with quita out on youtube go check kelo plan out on youtube i don't know if blog elise does youtube i'm not really sure i kind of just watch her instagram stories and things of that nature anyway moving on so here we are in 2019 and i have my own youtube i have my own um planner page i have my own followers and i was doing pretty good up until around the time i was um, losing my mom and she was passing away and i kind of just backed off from the community and so now i'm just trying to get back in the group because i feel like i had that momentum and i don't so much now but that's neither here nor there I'm here now. Y'all, I really feel like maybe it's because I'm holding my head wrong or something. I'm like drooping. I don't know. But I really do not like the way I look on camera. Um, When I'm looking in the mirror and stuff, I don't look like this. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I just don't see it. I'm like blind to it. But as soon as I see myself on camera, it's just like... I really look like I've had a stroke or something. And I'm not even being funny. I just, that's how I look. It, I don't know. Anyway, so here's what you can expect from Little Angel Plans moving forward in the year 2020. I will be continuing with Plan With Me's on, seriously, I gotta stand like this, face like this. I will be continuing with Plan With Me's um, on my YouTube channel. I will be continuing with the positive affirmations on my Instagram channel. I will be crafting a lot more using my Cricut and I will be posting them on Instagram, I believe. I want to say um, I will start back up um, my baking with little angel cakes and I think that's what I'm gonna go with little angel cakes instead of angel cake specialty pastries little angel cakes I'm doing a full rebranding um, what else? vlogs I will be doing more vlogs. I feel like I don't do enough vlogs. I just do like edited videos and I just throw them out there. So I need to be more 
personalized and I feel like that is that comes with vlogging so even though it's out of my comfort zone I'm not really a fan of being in front of the camera without any filters because the face this is so it's so chunky over here I don't know but I feel like if I sit it like this I look all right like you know, gotta be in the right light or I can but um yeah just oh podcast podcast is gonna come I, I'm gonna do it myself which has been taking me a whole lot more time and patience and energy and what word I'm looking for research chat a lot of research so I'm trying to perfect that I have a couple guests lined up and I have not neglected that. That is something that I'm, I, I'm, I'm very passionate about. And so I want it to be perfect because I feel like I haven't given it what I know that I can. Same thing with my um, cake or my pastry business. Same thing with the planner community. So I'm just trying to give everything my all without going crazy you know what I mean so I don't know I like standing up camera better than side view camera I don't know something is going on but like what is it I don't know but so I'm with this this is how I'm with the videos if y'all want to watch I understand but like I feel like I look like me there we go like I'm cute right now can I turn the camera? <laughs> it ain't it. Oh, also, I might start doing the nail videos because these are just, these are um, press-ons. And I change them like maybe like once a week because it just depends on um, how I'm feeling, what I, what I like. But I change them like once a week probably. And there's my ace. She's telling me that nothing looks wrong with my face in these pictures, in these videos, but child. <sighs> so, that's it y'all, y'all just, I gotta stop moving this camera, why am I moving the camera so much? If y'all wanna see more vlogs, like let me know, and I'll just vlog more. Cause that's like the only thing really I neglect. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else I'm like working behind the scenes nonstop about. But like vlogging, not so much. So if y'all want to see more vlogs, let a real one know. And I got y'all.